So I decided I would just come in and I guess get her dressed on camera because I really dress my own my big babies on camera. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do this one because I was getting ready to dress her and I usually like do it on my own time privately because it's easier for me. Um, sometimes I, I go and I, I sit around my bed and I dress her there. Um, sometimes I, I bring them here and I'll get them dressed or whatever. Um, I know we talk about it over and over again, like people compare like the two mediums, silicones and reborns. And I know that reborns are back in demand. They never left demand, but sometimes it's like a ebb and flow thing. It's like one moment they are like high, high demand. And the next moment it's like, uh, we okay if we don't have one. Right now it's like everybody's, we got to have one. And also a lot of the sculptors are leaning towards silicone now because of all the reborn um, stuff going on with the copied kits and all that jazz. So also a lot of reborners are getting into painting silicone now because they are, you know, buying into the fear that, you know, it won't be that many reborns available and the matting um, stuff is not as available as it used to be and when it is they're tripling the price because they know everybody wants it so it it is definitely becoming a true uh situation with the reborn so you know some people are going into it the the thing that that the thing that behooves me <laughs> don't let me stop the thing that that uh, really gets me is that some people do not like silicone and some people can't afford the silicone because these dolls are expensive. The reborns are just as expensive as it is um, for some silicone babies. You know, it's just definitely going to be even, oh, I should have brought her that new, my new uh, little toddler. I bought some some new toddler pants. Oh, they're so cute. I, sh I should have got them to try them on her, but that's okay. I'll just let her wear this diaper. I'll try it on her another time. Ooh, this is kind of dingy because the dye off of this one done rubbed off. But I don't have time to go and change her because my battery is looking low, so I want to get this done quick if possible. Man, but I really think I want to try it on her. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. No, because it's busting out the side. Let me go get him. Hold on, guys. I'm back. So, yeah, so... I don't know, like I said, I just feel like, you know, things are getting really um, crazy in some people world. I have enough supplies right now to actually last me a while to, to be able to complete quite a bit of babies. Um, the good thing about reborn supplies it's not like silicone supplies. In fact, I gotta order more silicone supplies right now. And I hate when I have to order them because they're not cheap. <laughs> and I'd be like, don't want to spend the money. But, um, you know, what I spend for just the Madden powder, powder alone on for Reborns, I mean for silicone, I could buy my whole, you know, supply thing for reborns um like my paints i can buy paints i can buy my sponges my brushes um 
well, I ain't gonna say my brushes necessarily, but I could buy my paints, my matting, my thinner, all that stuff for Reborns and have enough to last me six months to a year just for some matting powder that's only gonna last me a couple babies. <laughs> so, um, it's definitely a huge difference. This is a size four pull up. And I got them for uh, Jacoby, but I forgot she could try them on too. And I might as well put her on her little boomers while I'm doing that. But yeah, so I don't know. Like I, you know, I take one day at a time. If it gets to the point where I run out, where I can't get what I need, for um when I get what I can't what I I don't need um for uh the reborns I will I will handle that situation at that time. In the meantime I'm gonna keep doing what I do and be okay. Um I am you know, one of the good things about keeping your own babies, your own work, is that as you dress them and handle them and stuff, you get to see how your paint held, hold up. You get to see little things on the babies that you be like, oh, I didn't notice that. I could have did that better, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't catch this. I didn't catch that. Dang it. This got a snap. Oh, my gosh. This is annoying. Um... So I'm really, you know, glad that I keep a, a lot of my babies, my own work, because I actually learned how to improve from there, which I already knew, like with um, Zora. Zora's not 100% perfect. I complain about everything with, with my painting. Um, I didn't like the way the front of her toes are, so I consider her not perfect um but i'm telling you i really really love jacoby's painting i think it's really great i think she's great too but jacoby is definitely nicer and it's like it doesn't you know when i say that i'm okay with saying that i don't know like if people get offended like if i say oh my current work i feel like i'm doing better it doesn't take away from my old work. It's just that, I mean, I should be improving, right? I know some people, like, just be okay with where they're at and they just keep doing the same old, same old thing. To me, that gets boring. And to me, I want to do better. I want to grow with each baby. So, for me, if the babies look the same, then if the, the first baby I painted, I was still painting the same exact way as then then that mean I haven't grown, nothing has improved. And to be honest, at that point, my prices should be the same. But you know, some people, they don't change nothing. Don't nothing change with their work. Nothing don't be done, you know, change from one minute to the next. But if they gain any type of popularity, they just jumped their prices up. Me and uh, another collector was talking about, you know, one of one of the artists that we, you know, follow and like. And now that people are more going after their work, they've jumped their prices up like triple within a few months. And they haven't changed the way they paint. It's just that they've gotten more popular, so now, and in demand, so now they're, like, really, really charging people triple the amount. Um, and that's okay. I mean, in any other business, that's what people do. You know, you start out at, you know, this company, it's a small company. Everybody start wanting the product. Next thing you know, you can't get that product for the same price. The price that went up. Supply and demand. I get it. This is even worse because we're such emotional shoppers when it comes to our dolls that we really just 
go crazy. She has this headband and I don't know, like I would, I was gonna let her hair loose and put it on. But what if I don't? What if I just do it like this and kind of like turn her bow to the side like that? I think I might do that. That might be kind of cute. Okay. Um. So yeah, we, we really go crazy. Girl, you got a little piece of dandruff. I don't know what that is, but I want to, I want it all. I don't know, something. I'll have to get tweezers and tweezers, tweezers and get it. But, um, oh, and you need your earrings. I'll put them, I'll go get them later after the video. But yeah, so, I mean, we, we really get like carried away with, you know, these dolls. We get addicted, we get hyped up and we want what we want, right? Um, we don't care how much we got to pay for it, how much we got to sacrifice for it sometime. But for me, I, I, I used to like sell everything just to get the next new thing, the next best thing, the new thing that I want, that I see that I want. But I've, I've gotten away from that now because I've actually started collecting babies that I really, really love. And like I could sell Zora right now. She got couple mommies that's like when you ever get ready to sell her just let me know because i want to buy her um and i can sell her and they know i've told them the things i don't like about her and it doesn't take away from them they just like you know let me know they'll buy them a couple of them have told me whatever price i'm they're okay with it but i'm not willing to just let her go just so i could try to get something different and then a lot of times i've had where i've tried to i've went after something and got it and it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't as nice as I thought it was or it wasn't as it wasn't you know better I'll say it wasn't better than what I had and then I'm like really agitated because then I've given up you know everything for this particular baby and um now I, I'm, I'm stuck, I don't have, I'm not, you know, I don't have my old baby and I've, I've given everything for this one particular one and it's not, it's not what I wanted. Let me zoom in so you can see her face a little bit, but yeah, there we go. But yeah, so, and she, I have some walking shoes. Maybe I should put her on some walking shoes too, because that might be cute. Um, I don't know if they're in this room now that I'm, I'm thinking about it. I don't like those little ugly ones right there. Yeah, I don't think her walking shoes are in here. I think they're in the other bedroom. But I'm going to probably put her on some, some of the little walking shoes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, but yeah, so... You know, it's kind of gotten to the point where now, you know, I just kind of buy within my budget where I'm not like having to give up everything for one, one thing. Just so I can have a little bit of everything that I like. Um, now, if it's something come up that I really, really want, I'll sacri I might sacrifice something, but I've kind of given up on a lot of stuff. Um... But that's where I'm at. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed chatting with me while um, Zora gets dressed. I don't know. You know, some of you guys might be new and may not follow me. But Zora is the Margot head and the limb arms and legs by Bonnie Brown. Margot face by Cassie Brace. Um, she is a very special baby to me. She is a baby that I... I I think I will be keeping forever, but you know how that go. I thought Phoenix would stay forever, but I, I let him go. And um, so you never know with me. But right now, she's definitely one that I'll keep for a while. I've had a lot of babies come that I really love. And it, it hasn't, my love for her hasn't wavered yet. So, um, you know, Taraji is a special baby. I love her. She's beautiful. But she hasn't pushed Zora out of the way. So, um, you know, I've had Joey and a whole bunch of other little babies that have came. But 
No one takes the place of Zora. <laughs> I don't know. I really love her. She's my girl. So, anyway, just a couple things. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just sit and think and think to myself, like, you know, when is enough going to be enough? Um, are we going to go broke chasing, you know, the most popular thing? Or are we okay realizing that sometimes you don't need what all these things that you think you need? And sometimes some of the things are not that far off from the other stuff. It's just in our head because we keep hearing it is and we just get caught up. Or, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I just be thinking like, yeah, do I really have to have this or that? And then I get, like, babies. Sometimes I have to paint for other mommies and it's not something that I typically would, you know, get. And I, I actually realized that there are they are very enjoyable too. And I'm like, hmm. No, I'm like, well, you know, a lot of these people are like, oh, but I want this, I want that. And they don't realize that they could be enjoying something else. But they think that they got to have a particular brand or a particular, you know, popular doll or whatever. I do, me, I do believe in buying authentic though. I do believe in buying, you know, Sculptor sculpts. I'm not at all open to going and buying the black market products or you know dolls off of Amazon and all that stuff. I'm I'm not into that. But I am okay with buying, you know, maybe sculptors' work that's not like master sculptors yet or that type of stuff. But but I, I won't I won't sacrifice buying knowingly something that is you know hurtful to the sculptors. And I, I say hurtful because I I don't know how financially it hurts them, but emotionally I, I can only imagine, you know, how they must feel. But I'm also not around here like holding pep rallies and all that stuff about it either because I don't feel like honestly I don't feel like a lot of sculptors have shown me a lot of support and love you know um throughout my journey and my time in this community so um I'm not I'm not saying I'm going tit for tat you know I'm gonna stand for right but I'm not going to put myself out here and have to fight with the whole community for people that won't even step down and, and compliment me on a, on a kid that I painted of theirs, you know, a sculpted they, you know what I mean? Like, not that they, they, sh they have the time or they should be or whatever, but, you know, some of these people, you know, some of these sculptors I've, I've brought a lot of business to and, you know, different things like that. And I, I and, and they would never, ever, ever, ever say, go out in the forums and say, you know, don't 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 treat her like that or she's not a bad person i've done business with her she's done good business um they'll never like i'm not gonna say all of them but i'm just saying as a whole i i've haven't had nobody's gonna stand up for me like that so i know I'm like it's not the most popular opinion but that's where i'm at like i don't and i don't support these people that's out here advocating for you know the knockoff kits and stuff and I don't you know <laughs> I don't believe in you know yeah if I could get it cheaper I'm gonna get it cheaper type thing you know if that's what they feel that's their thing but I'm not gonna sit and argue with people about that you know so a lot of people have been like messaging me privately and trying to drag me what you think about so and so video what you think about this I don't and if I do it's only for a split second. Like, I'm not going to linger on it. I'm talking about it now, but that's it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys later. Oh, I have to take a picture really quick before my battery go dead.